Take a tool in and pause. This is your boy, Farmer Brandon TV. Maybe that was a little too quirky. What's up? This is Forever Brandon TV. Coming back to you guys with another video. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a mess. <laughs> now for real, all jokes aside, this is your boy Forever Brandon TV. Y'all, I'm just being a jackass like I like always. Anyway, guys, this is another video on Dave East. Now, guys, if you guys remember, I did a review on him maybe like a year ago. I want to say maybe two years ago, maybe. Maybe it was a year ago. I don't know. Stop the press. Okay, uh, this is Dave East. Now, he is, this is my ninja right here. Now, if you guys don't remember, I did a review on him, and he even retweeted it. I don't know if he will remember, but I wanted to say thank you to him because even if he don't remember me, he did retweet me before. Now, he's made a lot of mixtapes that I have not really, really had the time, uh, to, the chance to, you know, kind of listen, you know. I haven't really had the time to really sit down and listen to him because I didn't know he was still making a lot of stuff. But after listening to his new album, which he is with, um, as I've heard, he just signed with uh, Def Jam hours ago. You know, uh, yesterday I heard that he had signed with Def Jam before he brought this album out. Now, he has a newborn child, Kyrie Chanel. Now, this is what this album is about. This is album he's he's kind of relating to his newborn daughter. Uh, I believe his baby, uh, I seen his baby's mother. I don't want to say baby mama because that sounds too damn ghetto. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I, see, I think I seen a picture with him and his, his daughter and his baby's mother on a picture and his, this daughter looks cute and precious. Uh, this album... Uh, I believe it's an album. They keep saying it's a mixtape, but I, it, it really sounds like an album, in my opinion. So, I'm just going to say, go ahead and call it a damn album. But anyway, we got it. It has, I think, 15 songs on it. Uh, now, after listening to it, I found that it was dope. It does have some songs that I really, really did. That really did catch my attention when I was listening to it. Uh, I heard it early. I like the whole album, okay? Uh, the first song was called It Was Written. Now, this just had just this, this. He was just spitting this 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 medicine, this real hip-hop on this song that I was really, really feeling. I was really, really saying, okay, I'm like, I'm listening to it. I'm like, it's dope. Uh, I was really listening to it. It was written. He basically just saying that everything that happened in his life was already written. Uh, it's basically what I'm picking up about this song. Uh, when I listened to it, the beat sounded amazing. Uh, he His flow is kick ass, okay? Now, y'all gotta get into his flow because Dave East is a real rhymer, okay? Now, he's from uh, Harlem, New York, I believe. I want to say East Harlem. I, I think I've read or heard about. He's from East Harlem, New York. And uh, this song was just he was just really giving me that 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 Harlem realness, you know, uh, cause you know people from New York, that's that's where the best rhymers is at, okay? They out there, they in them parts, they in them parts. But anyway, uh, it was written was the first song I was really feeling that. Then we got Type of Time, which is probably my favorite. It had a very very familiar sample, and I don't really remember the original person who did it but I've heard it before he kind of slowed it down a little bit because I think it's kind of like a fast song I just can't remember the person who did it but anyway type of time he's just basically talking about the perilous times that uh he's been going through and he's in and uh, I really really like it I think that it was a dope song it was probably one of the illest tracks that I, I really really that really really caught my attention uh I was definitely feeling it the next song again I see he was spitting mad fire on this song. Let me tell y'all something. When you hear this song, you're going to be like, damn. Okay, he just got that flow on here that just really, 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 really make your eyes pop. Okay, because it, it, I was listening to it. I had to listen to it like two, three times when I heard it. So that's how I know this is probably one of my favorites of the album. Or maybe it was the other song. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Can't Ignore featuring 2 Chains. Okay, y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. Y'all know I love the song. I like Dave East's verse. But I don't think that two chains should have been on the song. I'm telling you. I feel like sometimes when two chains be featured on other people's songs, they don't really, really fit his rap style. Now this song, it was a nice song, but after listening to to it, the beat was nice. He was doing his thing. But it's just really, really, really 
didn't fit too chain. Now, see, he did all right, but I really was looking more forward to Dave East's verse than him, than his. Okay, then, um, after that, then it's from the heart feature of my girl, Seven Street. Now, Seven Street, it sounded amazing. Now, this sounded like a farewell letter. I want to say it sounds like a letter, uh, not a farewell letter. We gonna take that. I ain't gonna say that. We just gonna say it just sounds like a letter he's writing to a loved one. I don't know if he's writing it to his baby's mother or if he's writing it to a lost person or just somebody that he, a family member maybe. But I, it just sounds like a, a letter that he's writing to someone. And Seventh Street it sounds a uh, fucking amazing on this song. So I have to give her her props. I'm waiting for an album from her. But anyway, that's off topic. The next song is Thirty Niggas. Okay, he's basically saying that. On this song, he if it's if if it's anybody who's out there and you know if it's anybody who's hustling, you know they have to get theirs. You know they have to get their money. They have to get they uh they have to you know go for what they have to go for their grind. Basically is what I'm getting off this. Uh um, it, it's just a song that it, he's basically saying he his his words or whatever he's. Bit, or basically he's saying he can help somebody you know out of a situation or basically anybody can help themselves out of a situation you know um and i really really like it i think that it's a pretty good song um the next song is keisha now i don't know if this is the baby mother or if this is somebody else he's talking about but basically he's basically telling a story that he was with a girl or something like that and he trusted her and she stole from him that's what I got off of it. Maybe it might mean something else. Who knows? But I really, really like the song. I think that he was really, really spe spitting some real magic with this one. This was dope. This was dope. I was definitely feeling this song. Uh, Eyes on Me featuring Fabulous. Now, we know I'm not the biggest Fabulous fan. But I gotta give Boy his props. I gotta give old Boy his props because he is from New York. And, you know, New York love New York. And... When New York meets Harlem, sometimes they, 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 bam, they mesh, okay, um, bear with me, I really, really like the song, I thought that the song was really good, it really, really had a, a nice flow beat to it, and I really, really liked it, the verses, it was different, uh, SDE featuring Cameron, now Cameron, in my opinion, on this song, he sounded a little drunk or something. I don't know what was going on, but I really, really liked it. The song uh, itself. But Cameron's first May, I don't know if it, it, you know, I haven't heard him rap kind of in a minute, so it's been kind of a little minute since I heard Cameron, but he sounded okay on the song. It just, I just don't think they really fit him. But I really, really liked the Dave East's uh, input on what he uh, thought about the song. Don Pablo. Don, sorry, Don Pablo. Let me get my enunciation correct, okay? I really, really liked it, this song. I thought that this song was amazing. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if he was trying to say, you know, uh, was he was trying to relate this to Don Pablo, um, who, was just, who was a drug dealer or something like that. I don't know if that's what he was trying to relate to or if he was just trying to say that he's done dealt with, you know, he's been a hustler and he's been hustling. You know, basically what I love about these songs, he's telling a story, and he's telling a story through most of them, but I think that he's really dedicating it to his daughter, uh, his newborn daughter, because I believe this, he just, just had her, so, uh, but that, yeah, Don Pablo, that was a cool song, the only thing, with, now, this song really, really just had that magic, that fire, that real hip-hop sound that I was really, really looking for, and, and this is what's gonna really make D Dave East be on my list, if you listen to that song, you can't go wrong. You listen to it, you be like, wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. He, he is a real rapper. The real is back. Now, all the stuff I've been hearing about Benny Siegel, I don't want to get into that because uh, I've been hearing some stuff, but that's off topic. But anyway, I'm going to save it for another video. But anyway, I'm glad that, you know, I haven't heard anything from him since. a while it's been a while but anyway i really really liked it the song it's just talking about the realness of you know the industry and what what the industry needs as far as hip-hop leaders and people you know just people in general i was definitely feeling that song uh slow down featured jazzy and it just slow down basically just tell you to slow down and see things through you know life on a daily basis 
I really, really like the song. I thought I thought that it was a deep song. Uh, it was very, very, very well put together. Amazing. Then we got Don't Shoot, which was the last song, which was probably the illest song, one of the illest songs. You know, just telling people to put their guns down, basically, is what I'm, I'm, I picked up about it. And I got to give it to Dave East because I was expecting, I, I didn't know what, was going on with him for a while because I kind of haven't heard from him in a while and I'm like okay he's just one of those artists that you you've heard before but you have to come back to him because I remember when I did his uh review on what was the name of that mixtape Ooh, I can't think of it right now what the hell was the name of it black something anyway it's been a minute it's been a minute and i'm glad that i'm happy to do another review because there's a couple of other mixtapes that i missed that i have to really listen to and get back because i forgot because you know there's been so many other artists that's been out you know that's been coming out with stuff and a lot of new artists and stuff that i've been witnessing and dave each just landed on my lap again and i'm like oh yeah i remember so he's one of them artists that you you you've heard before but then you realize maybe i should go back and listen to him again so this is the effect that you would get when you listen to this album when you listen to it you are gonna just feel the realness of hip-hop for real uh he puts the realness back in hip-hop and this is one of the things that j cole does not to put them in the same category but this is one of the things that I like. Uh, one of the things I like about J Cole because he's underrated. Now I got a feeling Dave East is gonna be underrated because not a lot of people know who he is. So I, I f's with it. This is a dope ass album. So check it out. You can buy this on Spotify. You can buy it on iTunes. Uh, I don't know why they keep calling it a mixtape. I believe it's an album because if he signed with Def Jam and released it, it's an album. You know, Def Jam doesn't do mixtapes. They do, but. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I got to give him his props. This is Forever Brandon Deuces. I'm out. Hope you guys have a safe night. Bye-bye.